Hello everybody, so I promised yesterday I was going to do this, and I'm fucking crazy, so we're going to do this. Uh, I don't know how fucking long this game is, so we'll see, we'll see how long this takes to get through. We'll see how much I can endure of this, because this is going to be an endure. This is going to be, this is going to be awful. God knows how I'm going to survive this, but it is what it is. Nothing I could do except stop playing the game, which I'm not going to do, but I digress. What the fuck? Turn off mouse acceleration. So, I obtained this game. I'm not going to give away how I, um, how I'm going to play this, get through this game. Uh, sorry, how I obtained this game, but I didn't give the developer money, and we're going to go with that. Let's see here. Gameplay. Show trading messages. Hide reticule. Okay. Um, why is this so freaking loud? I know I've been streaming slash putting up a lot of stuff, but it's a uh, holiday in Canada, so I just had a lot of time to do stuff. Uh, okay, let's see here. What the, like, why is there all these options? We got fucking, turn off motion blur. I don't want that shit. Graphics quality. Um... Field of vision? Why the fuck is there all this stuff? Like, stop pretending this is a real video game. It isn't. Okay, so let's try this shit. I really don't want to play it, but I'm going to do just for you because I like you a lot. Okay. Use the arrow keys or WASD modifiers. The modifiers result in a non-standard experience. Modifiers cannot be changed while in-game. All lights on. Disable map. Unlock all doors. Disable voice diaries. What the fuck? Why is there all these options? They keep pretending this is a real game. Is this game about lesbian? Yes. Yes, it is. I think, at least. Loading. Now they're trying to be like Guardians of the Galaxy. With the, with the tape. The Fulbright Company. What the fuck is the Fulbright Company? Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. She does sound like a lesbian. Uh huh. Shuttle from the airport. You, you don't have to pick me up. Bye. I didn't buy it. I've been over this. I didn't I didn't actually purchase this game. I obtained this game in in a perfectly legal fashion. A hundred percent legal. Don't even ask uh, where how I obtained it, because that would be insulting me. Anyone would think that I would obtain this game through less than legal means is just is just crazy. <coughs> Okay, this is loud as fuck. Okay, anybody in the uh, the stream chat, let me know if the uh, the volume on this is okay. Okay, good. I don't have my VI VPN on. Okay. Caitlin Greenbrier, Portland. Okay, well that should be a clue already. Okay, is there a sprint in this game? No, there's a zoom in, which makes me nauseous. Okay. Grab cup. Uh, right mouse or left shift to hold, examine a held object. Look at that cup. Fuck you, cup. Okay. Open door. Grab Christmas duck. What the fuck? You can't even throw shit in this game. Got Christmas lights. Who the hell puts, like, do people actually put their house keys in obvious places like that? I've never met anybody who actually does that. Uh, let's see here. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it's impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Okay. You got flickering lights. 
they're too lazy and cheap to change the light bulbs. This kind of reminds me of the house in um, Your Next. Open folder. Read invoice. Wellspring Movers, Inc. Uh, let's see here. Box is kitchen. Uh, box is master bed. Wow, you got two different TV sizes. What kind of pleb has a 14 inch screen? Even just since you've been away, we moved into this house. And then you. Thought I turned off mouse acceleration. Don't tell me they turned that shit back on. Fuck you, mouse moving. Mouse moving is shit. School. And my big sister being. What the hell? This mouse controls are awful. Bugged mouse mechanics, TBH. Okay, there we go. It doesn't feel real. Okay, theoretically they turn mouse smoothing off, but narrator voice is too low. Okay, here I'll turn that up. Uh, let me see. I'll try turning this shit back on and see if that me. helps. Y yeah. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, shitty. because you're off gallivanting around. Online lag. Okay, here we go. Let me just see if I can turn some shit off to lower the lag. There we go. Let me know if that's any better. I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Okay, so the controls are shitty. How the... Oh, okay. You, I can use a 360 controller. Perfect. How the controls can suck in a game like this, I don't know. Okay, so author magazine. Uh, let's see here. So is this February 1995? Freelancing tips and tricks from the pros. Get published. On that note, I'm happy to announce... Eventually, once I have uh, the agency to do so, uh, I will be publishing a book. Now, whether I do it in countercurrents or I just self-publish on um, Amazon, I'm not really sure. I'll have to figure that out, but I'm going through editing now, and I have a friend who also does editing, so he's going to go through it too. And yeah, so there will be um, one of my books that I've written published. The one that's probably the closest to being published. Worldwide timetable. Like, why is this in this game? Who gives a shit? Read note. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason... Is it a novel or documentary? A little from column A, a little from column B. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. Okay. Fuck you, phone! Okay, uh... What the fuck is wrong with this family? Sam, Katie, Mom, and Dad. Alright. She does look like a lesbian in that. Okay, turn on the lights. Postcard. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things, including eating Le Petit whatever French shit and wearing a beret. I'm going to have a lot of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I bring you back something from the Shakespeare Company. Since you are favorite sister, love all, Katie. Okay, I'm going to have to read this shit like, like I'm a retard. Just to make this slightly less boring. Grab pack of cards. Why? Why? What the fuck? What does this say? Akichi? What the fuck is Akichi? Can I open them? I want to play Solitaire. Solitaire would be better than this game. Nope. Grab photo. So this is this movie is about gays in the military. Look at this. This is everything that's wrong with with America. You got this pink-haired bitch serving the army. Fuck you. Um, read obituary. Oscar Doc Mason. Mr. Manson was born in the house. I don't even give a shit. That's this is fucking irrelevant. Uh, let's see here.
I'm sure that's against the military dress code, but whatever. They're too fucking lazy to hire voice actors for this game. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. Yeah. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Well, you are a mutant. Now maybe nobody knows my name. But they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. What the fuck does that even mean? Okay, let's see here. Oh my god, is this whole game just reading shit? Uh, Pacific Insurance Masters. Like, why do we give a shit? Okay, like, it's it's horror. It's the fucking electrical, electrical system doesn't work. Why do we need to know this? Okay. This is like, this is like something they'd have in, um, sorry guys, I tried to come up with like some sort of the killing of JFK theory. You've seen the movie Discover the Truth. I wish I hadn't seen the movie. A superb work of speculation. So does this have to do with the, um, the, the JFK assassination? Is that what this game is about? Okay, we got a typewriter. They're selling a... They're selling an old laser disc player for a thousand dollars. Okay, so they're apparently a Jewish family. Uh, let's see here. So it's kind of like a survival horror game like, um, like Bioshock or Stalker. This game is like the SJW version of Stalker. Um, what the fuck? Why can I pick up the... Oh, it's a false bottom to the drawer. Okay, I see. Okay. I can't write... I can't read handwriting, so... So yeah, so you, you gotta find ammunition and food and stuff to survive in this house until... Um, until, let's see here. I'm going to see if I can make this chair spin. Okay. Uh, uh. Yeah, okay, the chair's spinning. Okay. So there is a ghost in here? Um, no, I don't think there is a ghost, but yeah. So I got to search these cupboards for ammunition. Okay, there we go. Maybe this... Oh, that looks like ammunition crates. Grab Dad's second book. The Accidental Pariah. Do you think JFK would have been in favor of gay marriage? No. No. Okay, a message from our future saved the president's life once, but within the next 24 hours, there'll be another attempt, and the lines of communication are down. A James Bond for today's audience. Compelling, a thriller worth its salt. How dare they compare this to base James Bond? Ian Fleming was super base. What the fuck is wrong with this person? I was a teen drag queen. Readers tell us about their worst movement. 9210. Does anybody still care? The male gaze and how to subvert it. Males like to look at me because I dress like a I dress like a thaw and the male shouldn't look at me because it's just the uh, the feel that um, yeah. Sarah Hulse not gathering moss. Duh. Turn lamp on. I'm sorry guys. I'm trying to figure out how to make fun of this, but it's it's so fucking boring. It's just not giving me anything to work with. Read notes. <coughs> The accidental patriarch, villain, ambassador, messiah, the occasional, sometime unreliable, a year on the mountain, the accidental prophet, the accidental prophet, the ac the accidental patriarchal messiah sounds like a book I'd read. Okay, there we go. We got the lid. See if I can break that. 
A Stranger Under My Roof, the number one best-selling book for parents of a teen. The teen, look how, like, she looks like uh, Mel Gibson and um, Vince Vaughn in that, uh, that picture. The teen years are fraught with all types of mental, physical, spir spir spiritual, and emotional troubles. But these years don't just affect your teen. Your teen's turbulent years are a challenge for parents as well. Maybe the biggest challenge you face since having children. Because your teens aren't your children. Okay, I can't even fucking read this. This is just too boring. I've never had such a good conversation with my daughter. These simple tools can make all the difference to relationship with your child. Uh, let's see here. Sheen Keller Northwest Review of Books. So apparently the Northwest Front exists in this. And the, the Northwest Front is reviewing this book. And I don't have mods in, um, in my chat. Maybe I should start selling moderator positions, like if you give me 20 books. So yeah, so the Northwest Front, so Harold Covington endorses this book because it teaches your kids how to not race mix, um, I guess. So what was the point of this entire room? Nothing. It was completely pointless. Um, there was there was nothing of any significance in here. Okay. Let's see here. Oh boy, there's a there's a safe combination I have to get. Is there going to be like a gun in there I can shoot myself with? Because I know how high the suicide rate is, but. I, I, like, I hope the suicide is, is sped up so I can stop playing this. Press Y to check your location in the house. They put a map in this game? Why? Okay, you got the Kleenex box. That'll come in handy later. Once you see these hot, hot le lesbian action. Once you see the two lesbians going at it with their um, their overweightness, excessive piercings and tattoos, and dyed hair, you're going to need those Kleenexes. Let's see here. Oh boy, instructions. So like if you're playing, if you want to get to this house so you can enjoy this game in person, here is instructions on how to get there. Can I pull out the plug in the wall? Throw the Kleenex into the rain. That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. I, I can't. Bug door mechanics. Did DSP... If DSP actually played this, I should go look at his playthrough. I want to see him complain. Okay. Okay, so I, I've got... There's items in this game. Boarding pass. Okay. Oh, uh, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Okay. Let's turn that lamp on. All right. I can't read that. It's too, okay. Let's see. It's so good to. It's so good to hear from you again. All this. This. New house business sounds like quite the little adventure, and I'm an adventurous person. I, um, I, I don't know. Remember at the little down room we should, we shared freshman year? Well, we were, we were something fantasizing about on dream homes i always said i wanted a mansion you paid you said you just wanted a home in the woods look who got both somebody up the light there likes you i could use name of that i could use some of that magic send me some lotto numbers i'll play them seriously but i shouldn't be complaining about this good old We've had, oh my god, I can't even read this, it's too boring. This is just, 
I mean, the biggest sin isn't even that it's a dildo, it's just boring as fuck. Like, okay, let's look at the skull. So, like, they're trying to, to make a reference to, uh, what's it called? To No More Heroes, because you got the Lucha Libre stuff. Oh, it didn't even bounce. Number one, one of my trophies. Regional track and field finals, first place. Okay, let's, the door's locked. Jeez, this is a difficult puzzle game. So, like, I just don't know what they were going for, like, when they made this game. Like, what was the, um, controlled burn? Senior conservationist Jans Greenbrier. Like, and I'm someone who didn't actually think that Depression Quest was that bad. I actually kind of, I didn't think it was that bad for like a, a free, um, okay. Who writes this many notes? I mean, really? Okay, let's see here. Oh boy, temporary, um, temporary personnel transfer. So... If you need to know in the fictional universe where these people are working, why you would need to know that, I don't know. These people have so much storage space. Okay, let's see here. Brat Mobile Timothy Vey. Oh, that's, look at that physics there. Woohoo! 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 Do, do, do. Someone needs to, like, take this and use it. Um, for, like, some, uh, some dubstep. Okay, I, I can't even. Sam's it's journal, hang out, with, out girls. with girls. It is. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is, like, instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. It was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I play Super Nintendo because newer game systems just aren't itchy enough. To listen to this. I haven't stopped playing They aren't since. vintage and they aren't all. Okay, turn TV off, turn TV on. They took the Super Nintendo. Aww. Oh. I wanted to play Super Nintendo games. We got Adventures, Adventurous Cat Returns. That that looks like a fucking train wreck. I want to play that. Let's see what other games do we have here. Super Spitfire. Okay, we got a girl on that who kind of looks like she could be a potential waifu. Okay, why can't I play that? Let me play the game. Damn you, TV. <gasps> Journey of Crystal. It looks like a shitty indie game. Wait a minute. Um, can I play a shitty game inside of a shitty indie game? If only. Wow, this room is way bigger than mine. Okay, so Fizz Right Ginger Ale. We got Calorie Cows, because we got to tell the kids in this game proper nutrition. Um, so 140 calories. How does it have, no, zero grams of protein, sodium. Okay, so we're going to do an Argent tries it. Argent tries it. Fizz right ginger ale. Hello, everybody. Welcome to, to, to Argent tries it. So we're going to do a review of Fizz right ginger ale. So I'm going to take a sip. It's, um, it's not quite as good about, um, as as Canada dry, but let's just look at the calorie. Let's look at the um, nutrition. So we have eight fluid ounces. I don't know what the fuck a fluid ounces is. Maybe it's like 150 milliliters or something. I don't know. So it's got two serving sizes per can. Okay, you know what? What the fuck kind of drink can has two serving sizes? Like, are they expecting people to open a fizzy drink with no cap? 
drink half of it and put it back like in the fridge are you supposed to reseal it with some sort of machine what the fuck kind of can has two servings in it and how is it 140 calories for half a can a can of coke is is like um is is what is it called um is 140 calories for the whole can so this is 12 fluid ounces and one serving is eight fluid ounces so this contains a serving and a half so <laughs> let me just pull this up let me just pull up a, a calculator let me just calculate the calories of this uh let's see here so we've got 140 times 1.5 so this has 210 calories in it. So, yeah. So, it, guys, it, it, it kind of has a lot of sugar in it. So we've got thymine, vitamins. Okay, so it, it doesn't have any nutrition in it. It doesn't have a lot of salt in it. So I'm going to give this, like, I don't know, one out of five. So that was, uh, was Argent Tries It. Okay, so we got a cassette tape. So this is Bat Batmobile. Okay, that is the first legitimately scary thing in this whole game. Is that noise. Is that song. Okay, so they want to do creative uh, creative writing. Of course they want to do creative writing. Like, because if this game is... I think this game shows that that creative writing... Um... This creative writing, I think, degree was well used, considering the amount of creative writing in this game. Because you need creative writing to write stuff like invoices and directions to a non-existent house and that sort of thing. I haven't had this much to drink Jodie Foster. But that's not Jodie Foster. What the fuck? How many fingers am I holding up? Well, it's obviously two. Is that a trick question? Do you have one in that like girl below her's ass? Or, or something? You'd better not be reading my secret diary again. Why are you telling people you have a secret diary? We have, you got lol cats. Okay, here you go, Midden. Have some pate. Gross. So, my interpretation of this is this girl is holding up a couple extra fingers, and it's it's up this girl's ass, and she's saying gross about it. That is my, um, that is my interpretation of this. Okay, let's see some more of that creative writing. Groove. Exclusive AIDS in Africa. How is that an exclusive? It's <laughs> Soul Asylum. Live Eddie Vedder Weezer. Oh, now we're going to have Weezer in this? Veronica Salt wants it now. Oh, sorry. No, not Veronica Salt. That would make too much sense. Veruca Salt wants it now. Wasn't that the name of the girl from uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Max and Martine wanted for the murder of Straight Edge. What the fuck does that mean? Someone killed Straight Edge? Okay, the only semi-interesting thing in this... Oh, cool. My mouse is on screen. Okay, is Biohazard, so apparently they have some, like, special on the Resident Evil games. Um, maybe this is, like, a, this was back when, like, uh, Resident Evil 6 was coming out. So you got that, you got Patty Smith, you got Dinosaur Jr., uh, you got AIDS in Africa. So this apparently takes place in 1995, I guess. Okay, so you got the Stegosaurus. Which looks like the fucking Antichrist. Okay, I'm gonna ask Espeon here. Because uh, I have a plushy Espeon on my desk. Espeon, what do you think of that uh, Stegosaurus? I think it looks like shit. You're right, Espeon. Um, unfortunately, you're not real, or you could psi attack that thing into oblivion. Okay, so Espeon doesn't like this game either. Okay, so you got a bag of tissues here for when the hot lesbian action starts. Okay, that's starting to give me a headache. This game is the Antichrist. The biggest sin something can commit is not to be dildo, is not to be bad, it's to be boring. 
And I'm doing my best to make jokes, but it's hard. So Millis Pacific Institute of Art Expedition. So we got a picture of Ophelia there, which I think should have been the poster for this, this game. Yeah, I admit, I, I have an Espeon plushie on my desk. I also have a... Um, wow, she has two copies of the same game. That's crazy. Uh, I'm also going to get a... Uh, what's it called? A Glaceon and a Leafeon. Because I just really like... Uh, got your number? It's it's Who's got a crush on you? I've been dreaming, dreamed about my dream phone. It's like that, um, I wish I was watching Board James right now. That was, it's funny, because Board James was a better horror movie than this, and a better just anything than this. Get your friends together. It's time to find out who has the big crush. Is it Matt from Science Class? Daryl from Track? You'll never know you've got his number. Yep got your number okay so this was made by Ladigan ward wow what a slob that stuff is going to be all wrinkled okay so we got this this hip penguin we got this cool rabbit this is uh this is a truly great game this doesn't look like a female's clothes this looks like male clothes what is airsoft like in canada I don't know, I've never played Airsoft. It sounds like fun, though. Um, just from what I've seen about it. Oh, boy. Okay, guys, we got another... We got another soft drink to review. It's time for another episode of Argent Tries It. We got Dr. Jitters. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> it's also made by Ahmed's. It's also got... Wait a minute, did they literally just copy and paste this? Yes, they did. You still got the same shitty two servings in the one can. No, the serving and a half in the one can. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so you got the, uh, the stuff. Okay. Disciplinary referral. Miss Benchley observed Miss DeSoto wearing a t-shirt with an unacceptable image on the front. A large beer can labeled Paf's Blue Ribbon. Miss DeSoto was sent to the guidance counselor's office. Uh, okay, so... The man. Okay. So how's that creative writing degree coming? Okay, open cabinet. Nailed it. Feeling blue. That summarizes my thoughts. Cool. Okay, here's the first, like, legitimate horror thing. We've got bloodstains here. Oh, no, it's just paint. <laughs> you thought there was going to be actual horror in this game. No. Okay, so I'm going to try and read this. Okay, so... Wild... This is such a fucking cock tease. I thought there was going to be something interesting... There's, like, the fucking uh, blood in there. Okay, so let's try to read this, because let's see some of this creative writing. I just got to tilt my head. Empty desired amount of wild color into an empty plastic bowl. One half bottle for short hair. Whole bottle for long hair. Apply evenly to dry hair. Do not apply to scalp. Saturate thoroughly and evenly. Leave on hair for 15 to 30 minutes. Rinse hair thoroughly until the water runs clear blow everyone's mind with your wild color lighten your hair okay contains hops extract mistletoe extract okay ready do not mix with peroxide developer okay Lonnie brought her hair dye over today she said I need to fix these roots think you could help Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. Okay, I got a tampon. That's what she said. You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. 
but I waited. It's Even funny, it, it kind of looks like a, a knife or something. So is this like the weapon in this game? <laughs> okay, let's see here. Grab some more toilet paper. Okay, so soft plus. Oh my god, there's a white baby on it. Someone call Anita Sarkeesian. Okay, what is this? Grab cleansing powder. It's kind of like you see in uh, Game of Thrones, there was a... Uh, there was a, a thought, there was like a whore, and the whore had a venereal disease, so Randall Tarly cleaned her pussy out with lye, which was pretty based. Let's see here. So that whole area was just pointless. Open drawer, okay. Amazing drawer opening action. And it's it's obviously a static image. Like look, it's it's not even 3D, it's just an image that they copied and pasted. This this creative writing degree pays for itself. Okay. Dear mom and and Sam, I come in the channel in the channel. Ew. Well there's people who use the con the the, the what you call it. This is my second passage through the channel. I'm on way back London this time Brussels. Sorry, I didn't write on way to London. I was too excited about channel. London was great, Dad. I know you've always want to visit. All want to come back here as family. Sometime I guess I could be convinced. Love all. Okay, that was fascinating. Can I? phone someone? Can I phone a friend? Can I phone the police? <clears throat> Featuring Earth, Wind, and Fire and Willie Nelson, of course. You got a purse? Can I steal the money out of it? Is that how I buy upgrades in this game? No. Turn TV on. Okay, let's see what is this stuff. Can I read it? Um, Bridge on the River Kwai, Silence of the Lambs. No, don't bring good movies into this bullshit. The Sound of Music, Gone with the Wind, Inside Edition. Is that the episode where Bill O'Reilly yelled, we'll do it live? All the President's Men, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Midden. Can I open this? Is there money in the back? Okay. Oh my god. Fuck you. I refuse to read that. It's too long. What the fuck is... Oh. Oh, it's just too scary. This is truly a horror game. Okay, we go into a closet. Oh. There's a book. The Flowers of, of Robert Maplethorpe. Are you a watercolorist looking to improve? Okay. Can I break the light bulb? Can I pick up the toothbrush? Can I brush my teeth? Look at how shitty that is. Look at that! <laughs> Look at that! What the fuck? That is that is some of the words. That looks like something from Minecraft. Okay, toothpaste. Cinnamon. Cavity protection. Plaque remover. Okay, let me see. I want to read this. Okay. Daily dental care, including flossing against... Protects against... Cavities and tooth loss. Okay, so we got shaving cream, black fryers for men. Okay, so they the creative writing degree didn't really help out there. So we got a second toothbrush, and it's just as shitty as the other one. 
Okay. Oh, I can't open those drawers. Oh, I wanted to open those too. How big is this fucking house? After the honeymoon, rediscovering your spouse personally, spiritually, sexually by Reverend Alexander Michaels. Probably a reverend in the fucking um, Episcopal Church. It may seem inevitable that the spark you and your spouse shared on the honeymoon should fade over time. Because your husband's a fucking cock and you took up with Jamal instead. But it doesn't have to. Reverend Alexander Michaels will show you how to rekindle the fire you once had. Part 1 provides simple steps to reopen the lines of communication between you and your spouse. A.K.A. stop being a cunt. Uh, allowing you to face problems you share as partners instead of rivals. Part 2 leverages the Reverend's decades of service to Satan helping you connect with a lower power. You'll draw strength from a demonic entity you may not even know it was possessing you. Part 3 offers a fresh and exciting ideas for the bedroom, including a few things that may survive, uh, may surprise you. Now, like, to be slightly serious, I do support trying to get married couples to have better sex lives. Um, I, I do think that that is important. But who cares? This is. I'm not gonna justify this game with anything. Okay, let's see here. Oh boy, another note. Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer. But you came home on such short notice, they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Sam. Good, because Sam's fucking dead. Okay, let's see here. Composition book. Cool, it's the book from Ghostwriter. <coughs> okay, so we're getting into the horror. The, the game's finally starting. Uh, a tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was then there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note I'm not wearing my glasses. A faint voice coming from bottom of the stairs. I said hello, did not investigate probably was the furnace poured milk from carton and fridge it was spoiled pretty sure i read that spirits can sour milk Ooh, oosh ghost milk oosh looney says she felt a presence in the tv room i suddenly began to feel cold we built a protective pillow fort looney and i employed ouija board as a medium because summing demons will make it better um, disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Okay, I can't even read this anymore. Oh! Hi, Sam. You were asking what my erotic ribbons meant. This is a handy guide. Orienteering. This means the army thinks I find my way around. Wait a minute, this person's in the army? And they write like this? What the fuck? Rifle team. The army has branded me a certified killing machine adventure training. So you didn't think I was cool before, now you do? That feel when I'm too into... You know what's funny? I'm not even sure who you're supposed... Who are you? You are Kate... Okay, so you're Caitlyn, then there's Sam and Looney. Okay, I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go or what I'm supposed to do. I kind of feel dumb for getting, like, lost in this game. Uh, if somebody, like, who's played this or wants to look up, then I can say someone in the stream chat is telling me. Hey, Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last week and then Todd wouldn't shut up about it. So either it good or we can make fun of him for liking it. According to Todd, it pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of fun. 
Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 715, okay? Don't barf. All right, see you then. Okay, where the fuck am I supposed to go? This game is bugged and unfair. Opening the sister... Okay, Boogie, could you tell me where the code for it is? Just because, like, I don't want to wander around in this any longer than I have to. Do 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 s s s s s j w world order. Do 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 do. Oh, here we go. There's another room to explore. Okay, so we got a tape. We got some rockin' tunes. Making friends even when you don't want to. Sam thought this might help Dad. Never worry about having friends to spend time with. This book will teach you to make friends even when you're shy. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a cool. We got some more fizz right, them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Oh my god, this is a game about DSP. They play Street Fighter too. Read story. Oh my god, I refuse to read this shit. Okay, I'll go look at that in a minute. I'm just gonna exhaust the stuff I can look for. Examine pamphlet, US National Forestry Memorial. Grab box of coupons. Okay. I pick up the eraser? Yes, I can pick up the eraser. What does it say? Spiral Maker. Cool. Oh my god, how many fucking books does this family have? Okay, open folder, read assessment. Reproductive system worksheet. What the fuck? Menstrual cycle and novella? Okay, I'm gonna look at that in a minute, because that looks like fucking freak show. Wow, orange soda. Let's do another Arjun tries it for the orange soda. Okay, it's they just copied and pasted it. Fuck that. Grab textbook world history. Okay, let me see if I can get into the, the garbage. Oh, I can't even throw shit into the garbage. Bugged physics mechanics. There we go. Okay, let's see here. Below are two stories. The events are all out of order. Grab a sheet of lined paper, write reproductive system. Then choose one of the two stories and rewrite it. Okay, I'm just going to read this. The Menstrual Cycle and Novella. The, Erfel, the early morning of September 1st, 1939, Eza Glatt stares out the window. The train as it travels from Vienna back to her home village of Wylam in Poland. 
As the train rundles along and the sun rises over the countryside, she can only think of her dear Borislav, the boy she's engaged to wed. Meanwhile, deep within her guts, an ovum starts to develop. As this train approaches its destination, her heart races. The lining of the uterus is getting thick and soft. Is this like some sort of... As Essa steps off the train, her eyes dart quickly across the gathered crowd. There, there, her dear, dear Boris. I thought his name was Borislav. Whatever. Still in his baker's smock, he must have dropped his early morning duties at his father's shop to come meet her. Her heart skips a beat. The ovary releases the ovum. It travels through the fallopian tube. Uh, over the wheezing of the steam engines, a deep hum grows. It's coming from the sky. Dark shadows pass over the station. A whistling sound. Essa, her thoughts only a second faster than the bomb, reaches out towards your dear Boris across the crowd. Their eyes lock and the moment freezes. The flash and smoke envelops him almost instantly. And the assault by German forces, almost 75% of the people in her hometown are killed. The rest, including Essa and for a time Borislav, huddle in the half-destroyed church. He is blind. His legs are missing, bandaged with torn bedsheets. Essa's egg will not be meeting a sperm. It dissolves. About two weeks later, Boris loses his grip on life. Essa has given up her rations to keep Boris alive, but in the end, nothing can save him. Since the lining of her uterus is not need for pregnancy, it comes out through the vagina. Essa vows to survive. She sets off to join her Poland's resistance as a daring spy and saboteur. Another ovum starts to develop in one of her ovaries, and the process begins again. It's incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. See me. Okay, that was... Um, so this game has to bring up the Holocaust, because every game has to. got some more coupons oh we got another note Katie please tell mom and dad about the stuff that's missing Sam okay Katie please whatever you're frowned don't tell mom about the attic bug door mechanics Why is there no sprint in this game? Okay, let me see. What was the buoy said? Uh, the guest room closet. There's a building on the ceiling that opens a secret door. Okay. So I have to find the guest room and there's a secret button there. How I'm supposed to know that, I don't know. Okay, where's the secret? Oh, there we go. This game's tricky dicky. Uh-oh. Dark room, do not enter if red lights are on. Okay, so that's locked. Do 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 new 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 world order. Da 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 new 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 world order. Da 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 da. I wish Kojima had made this game. Oh my God. Okay, let's see here. It's still locked. I thought that button was supposed to unlock stuff. Okay, open door. The accidental savior. 
Please give this to your mother. Thank you for having Danny over to your new home. Okay, I don't even really care. Uh-oh. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. Danny sounds like a beta orbiter who he was just kept around to get the, um, uh, to get the, the, the steal video games from. Danny sounds like a major cuck. Fucking friend zone. Danny's probably angry that he got friend zoned and he didn't get any. Danny's eventually gonna become the supreme gentleman and kill all these fuckers. Okay, thank you, Boogie. I'm gonna go fucking look for this. Oh. This is, this is, this is actually not the worst video game I've ever played. The, uh, the worst video game I've ever played is still Sonic uh, and the Secret Rings. This game is God compared to Sonic and the Secret Rings. Okay. Okay. Zero, five, one. Okay, here we go. Gentlemen, the magazine for men. Special share in Doherty. Exclusive interview with David. Finally, Gillian Anderson. The great UFO cover-up. Uh-oh, she was smoking morally filtered cigarettes. She has, like... Oh, man. So she has, like, an erotic photo uh, of, of her sister? Steal a key. But everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Kurt Cobain. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think. But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Bonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <gasps> Lottie was one of the sisters. I don't know. I'm having trouble following this game. How am I having trouble following a game that's like two hours long and has this much dialogue? Okay, unlock. Okay, here's where the ghost is gonna be. Why is there no lights? Bug light mechanics. Grab chips. Potato chips. Okay, we're gonna do another episode of Argent Tries It. Argent Tries It! Judy Original Potato Chips. Okay. Let's see your ingredients select potatoes, vegetable oil, salt. Okay, so we, we got. Uh, it doesn't show the total calories. I think that's a one. So it does have a little fiber and a little protein, so it is a little bit healthy. So yeah, I can recommend that. Three ring binder. We have a hidden note, of course. Oh my god. Oh, it's just boring. That furnace looks like Satan himself. And again, Satan probably made this game, so it is.
is what it is. Why was the key to the basement hidden? That's what I want to know. Heart pendant in two halves, customizable. Oh, they got each other like half a uh, half of it. Okay, just another copy of the same fucking book. I don't know, this might be as bad. No, it's still not as bad as Sonic and the Secret Rings. Joy is a complete understanding. Oh, look, another letter. You've been admitted to the creative writing program. Something that makes... I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Okay, hey Samantha Greenbrier. I can't listen to that, it's too shitty. Okay, let's see here. Dear Sam, I'm so happy you liked the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I know you'd be able to tell. Okay, so she thinks she's like some sort of lion dragon thing. Uh, you love Mexico. I think probably the nature here is totally different from back home. I keep thinking in the first mate. Okay, you guys can just read some of these. We'll have to spend so much time in the dark room fucking each other. Okay. I'm gonna put some more of this. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna put some more of this quality music on. Girl Scout set list. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually... She's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. But they tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, You didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Kicking against the patriarchy. What the fuck? Kicking against the patriarchy, the great good fellow riot. This is why we need the day of the belt. What the hell? Ugh. Ready to join the revolution? Take a stand against the gross man plus the patriarchy. Our music. We got the anarchist symbol. You got, yeah, you got fight the power. Why did she join the army then? I don't know. Okay, the psycho house girl. The coolest stuff about being the psycho house girl. Cool thing number one. Everybody in the hall thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard a peripheral. 
that's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it's so worth it. The girl on stage was just so loud and real and awesome. And everyone was moving together like one large tie of sand. Oh my god. How many fucking notes is there in this game? Let's see. Is there some more quality music? I want to listen to this anti-patriarchy music. Because, as you know, here on, on my channel, I do like to stand against the patriarchy. Sonic Youth. Oh boy, some more hipster bands. Okay. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about Dona, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like, it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Oh, okay, here we go. This is going to be worse. Hey, Lonnie, sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever around since her forest is like an hour away. And then when she is home, she takes it out on you. Like, because you're not a member of the family... She knows you won't come. Her on it. And I'm sorry. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. I know she's just jealous of our call and free willing lifestyles. I feel sorry for you. I'm like lucky my mom lives in Florida. You have to have a mom every day. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't complain. No, I'm being serious. My mom is a psycho Christian and her new husband, Don, is a complete tool. Living in Florida with him is in her is her eternal punishment in my mind. So you wouldn't rather live with your mom in Florida? Okay. It's good. How much longer is this? Okay, disciplinary, I don't care. interesting talk with mom and dad tonight one you are never gonna need to have I mean you've known right I've known I've known since like She-Ra mom and dad didn't I guess but they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker and they were like is there something we should know about you and Lonnie and so here's the thing I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them because they're in for one very long phase. Okay. Well, uh, let's just uh, continue going along, I guess. Okay. 
I actually have some extra time today, so we're going to keep playing this. I might go and get some water in a minute, just because my voice is getting tired. But, uh, yeah, some more quality content. Because that's, that's what I bring you guys. Okay, let's see here. Oh my god. Okay, if anyone wants to read this, you can just read this. If it doesn't look interesting, I'm not going to read it. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I've been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie, and then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. Okay, let's see here. All right, uh, table to order pizza while we're gone. Okay, because they can't cook. She's a lazy fuck. So we got the garage. <sighs> Open the freezer. Okay, let's do another Argent tries it. This time we're going to look at frozen spinach. So frozen spinach is going to be healthy, but because of bug resolution, I can't, I can't read. I can't read it. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I can't read it. This is bugged. I can't read the, uh, the nutrition ingredients open fridge so we got we got this oh my god did they they just took the same <laughs> copy and paste they just copied and pasted the same thing what the fuck they don't have nutritional information on milk okay so we got russian salad dressing Okay, so that's a lot of saturated fat in that Russian salad dressing. Okay, so we got no fat. We do have sugar, though. All right. Got the cutting board. Got the dishwasher. I knew this was going to be bad. I didn't think it would be that bad. We got this pantry. God. <laughs> what the fuck marker? Is there a knife in here I could use to slip my wrists with? Okay. Okay, so this this whore is too lazy to cook, so all she does is just stuff her face with fucking pizza. Not that I have anything against that, but uh, I thought she was supposed to be sophisticated. Okay, can I put the lid? Yes, I put the lid on it! That's the first puzzle I've solved in this game. There we go, it's good. So, it's, uh, it's an achievement. Oh, smashing the controller? Okay, I'll do that at some point. So, I am using a controller. This is so fucking lazy. How much was this game? This game was nothing. I obtained it. I didn't pay money for this piece of shit. I wouldn't give these people money. I, I obtained this game. Um, I would never pay money for something like this. The skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico. Okay, Lonnie. Do 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 do. 
le 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 lesbian world order. GameSpot gave this piece of shit a 9.5 out of 10. Were they on drugs? Thank you for what? For not paying money on this? No, I didn't say I pirated this movie, this game. I just obtained it. I I obtained it. That's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, I've been here already. Okay, there's the safe. I don't have the combo for though. It doesn't work. Bug lighting mechanics. Okay, I'm gonna, let's see here. <laughs> I'm gonna look this up. I can't take it, I'm sorry guys. Okay, um, the code is the, okay, 1963, okay, so 1963 is the code for the safe. Okay, read letter. I can't read that. What the fuck is this? Solution of morphine. Can I die of a drug overdose? Arjun tries it. Let's see here. Okay, so we're going to review this morphine. Um... Okay, let's see here. Uh, directions of use, remain transparent head. Okay, so stab yourself with it. Okay, so I can use some morphine, that's good. We've got some bottles. Oil of clove. Okay, grab. What is this? Okay, so there's nothing important in the safe. I was hoping there, ooh, syringe. Cool, can I stab myself with it? Oosh, that's some good shit. Um, so there's nothing of any importance in this safe. That's great, that's great. Okay, so where the fuck am I supposed to go now? Let me see how many people are suffering with me. 19 people are watching this. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why? Oh, it's bad enough that I'm playing this piece of shit. This is... Did people honestly give this a 9 out of 10? I mean, regardless of how you feel about, like, the faggotry in it, it's just not good. Like, this is just awful. Like, there's no, there's no sprint... Like, there's no real indication where you're supposed to go or what the fuck you're supposed to do. You're just fucking wandering around a house. I'm just not really sure, like, where I'm supposed to go next. Am I going to have to get a guide for this? I know what I can say about this game. Betrayal! Betrayal! Betrayal!
How the fuck do I get into the attic? Oh, here we go. Another new room I haven't found yet. Okay, we got some flowers. We've got some pretty pictures. We've got some more shitty indie music. Examine form. Performance evaluation. Okay. I want some more indie music. Halloween show. The Misfits. Stygian Lounge. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. You do. But when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after, that's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Do something with my fans. Well, I did do the giveaway a little while ago. I just haven't had time to do uh, more of uh, what was it again that I was going to do? Um, I was going to have another fan hangout. I've just been too lazy to do that. God, that sounds horrible. Okay, so I have to go downstairs again. There's no jump button in this game, by the way. There should be. I wonder if there's, like, mods for this game. Like, there's a mod that lets you sprint. Oh. If my life was like this game and I was a teen, I'd probably kill myself. I don't, I don't think this makes sense from a spatial standpoint. I think this game is unrealistic. Uh, servants' quarters. Yeah, the servants for the peasants who service them. Jump room. Okay, so I have to get to the secret passage. Okay, so how do I get to the secret? Is, is this where I'm supposed to go? Maybe this way? Oh, here we go. The secret passage. We got those rockin' tunes playing. the rock and tunes stop playing. Okay, so what am I, where the fuck am I supposed to go now? Okay. Shotgun on a prayer. Oh, oh, shotgun on a prayer. Do, do. I think I'm supposed to go to the library and look for a secret passage. 
That's my guess. So there is a secret passageway somewhere in here. I think that's where I'm supposed to go. But where? Um, okay, let me look this up. I'm gonna have to look up a guide for this. Okay, um, I think I know where I'm going now. How can we skip to the, I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to figure this out. How the fuck is this, like, how did they sell this for 20 bucks? I don't know. It's just, it's a mystery to me. It's the mystery Scooby-Doo can solve. Okay, so I need to go to the dining room. I'd like it if I got maybe like 10 or 20,000 subs so I can make like some decent ad revenue. Um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so somewhere in here is the greenhouse. Okay, so there's, I have to figure out where, how to get into the greenhouse, I think. Okay, I think I'm going the right way. Oh, oh boy, here we go. To open the washer and dryer, turn on the lights. Okay, we made it into the greenhouse. It's a new area in this game. Can't pick up the fertilizer because she's too fucking weak. Okay, let's see. Okay, so the secret door is we under the. Be our happiest ever. Okay. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. We worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past, and there wouldn't be any more. Never. Hard, but life would move on. 
I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. Oh, here we go. That's what she cried too. We're heading into the end game, guys. I was so exhausted. Oh my god, look at this. Like that. They're making What the fuck? In the morning, I woke up and I was finally alone. They're trying to summon the Trying to summon the powers of Satan? Trying to summon Oscar? What the fuck? Possession and exorcism? Noted psych psychologist Christine Quinn gives guides the reader through the de detection of spirit possession. It's like Zoe Quinn. What the hell? Honey snaps. Fuel for winners? Why is that here? We got some more fizz right? Oh, and we got the key for the attic. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Uh-oh, here we go. It's time for the final boss room. And wait. Okay, guys. There's where they fucked. Oh, it's the broken heart. You broke my heart, Lonnie. I love you. Stay strong. Oh my god. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie and my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She fell on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me and us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere. Us. Oh my god. And she asked me oh. if I could do that. And I said yes. Yes. Oh. Okay, here we go. The last. This is the end of the game. This is missed. You're finding the last page of the book. Katie, I'm so sorry. That I can't be there to see you in person. <sighs> that I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad. And you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. What the fuck is this stupid see shit? You. This is fucking horse shit. So, that was the $20 game that I was able to beat in what, like an hour and a half? How long was this stream? How much time? Yeah, that I beat in an hour and a half. Somehow. So, I beat this $20 game in an hour and a half. This was a waste of money, even though I didn't pay for it. Oh my god. Okay, let's go to Steam. And let's see... Let's see what you can get on Steam for like 20 bucks. Okay, let me just switch this over. Okay, so let's see what you can get on Steam for 20 bucks. All right. Uh, ooh, 
Berserk Band of the Hawk is on sale. That's kind of cool. I kind of want to play that, actually. I might actually buy that. That looks awesome. Uh, but that is a that is a side note. Uh, let's see here. What can you get for 20 bucks? Uh, you can get Sniper Elite. Let me see. How much is Stalker? Uh, yeah, Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. You can get Stalker Clear Sky. Uh, you can get Stalker Call of Pripyat. Let's see here. Gone Home is $22 now. Uh, let's see here. The Shrouded Isle, Grimoire, Heralds of the Wing. Okay, you got a bunch of shit you can get. Yeah, so that was, that was Gone Home. Um, I feel edified that I played that. I feel like I've achieved meaning in life because I played that piece of shit. How did they charge $20 for that? I, I will never know. I will never understand. I'd like to thank you for joining me in my descent into madness. And I'd like to wish everybody a good day. Um, so, yeah, have a good Sunday, everybody. And uh,